course, trading at very high prices uh, to earnings ratios. Uh, ag commodities moving up. Uh, economically sensitive materials such as copper, nickel, they're soaring. Bitcoin's up 80% this year alone. Um, question, Mr. Chairman, uh, how do we know when, uh, I guess to quote, uh, I think it was Mr. Greenspan, talked about irrational exuberance has unduly escalated asset values, which then might become subject to unexpected and perhaps prolonged contractions. You know, so as we look at those, um, uh, those things that you cited, what many of them have in common is that they're related to expectations of and, and greater confidence in a stronger recovery. So that's the metals. It's not so much Bitcoin, but it's the, it's the metals that you mentioned and inflation expectations and, and uh, other securities prices are really related to, um, you know, because of all the factors that are, that are out there right now, an expectation that the, that the uh, recovery is going to be stronger, sooner, and more complete. And so that's okay. Um, you know, we, we saw, uh, um, you know, commodity prices moved up a lot in 2008 and nine. And uh, people were worried about inflation. The inflation never came. So it's a healthy sign, I think, there. Um, you know, we're focused, honestly, we're focused on making sure that we're, that we're providing the support that the economy needs to get back to maximum employment and stable prices. We've still got 10 million people fewer working now, according to the payroll statistics. And it's much worse than that in, uh, among the, the workers in the lower quartile. So that's really our focus. Um, our focus in financial stability generally has been to have you know, a banking system and financial sector that is highly resilient to shocks. Uh, and uh, I'm to change the order of this. All right, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm over my time at the moment. So uh, thank you.